There's a man that has been going viral on TikTok for all the wrong reasons, and his name is Skabuki. Now, just before I disclose more about Skabuki, you must know that it is clear that Skabuki suffers from some sort of mental illness, whether that be just being an incel all the way to some kind of paranoid schizophrenic disorder. Now, like I said, Skabuki has been blowing up on TikTok for all the wrong reasons right now, but his antics have stretched back far into June of 2022. So, now you may be intrigued as to what I'm talking about all the wrong reasons. Well, Skabuki, aside from running for governor and mayor of New York City, he also does this, you know, fun little thing where he invades women's personal space, gets very close to them, and has multiple times aggressed them and quite literally punched them in the face. Slow down, what you in the rush for? What you in the rush for? Pay attention so you won't walk into people. Can you stop? Just slow down. I'm going You somewhere. almost walked through me. Yeah. All right. Put the phone down so you can pay attention and not walk into nobody. Hey, princess, princess, girl, hey, where you got all that swag from? Mm -hmm. I'm Skabuki, Marcus Garvey Grandson. I was curious to know where you got all that swag from. Sorry. I know that's right. Sorry, yeah. so Keep it going. I know that's right. Hey, hey. I'm Marcus Garvey Grandson, Skabuki. I'm Marcus Garvey Grandson. I'm Skabuki. I'm like, curious. I don't know. I don't know him. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> I was curious. Why y'all dressed like that? Why? It just look oh, hoish like, sluttish like. But if it makes sense to the black woman, good luck. I hope y'all get married. Okay. Later. Hey, 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 baby girl. I want to tell you, never trust a girl with a do-rag on. I love you. I see you got a fresh cut, baby girl. It's me, Skabuki, Marcus Garvey, great, great, great. So I'm running for governor. Ooh. Look, hell no, look at it. Look at her hair. Look at it. This is the only type of white black people that the white people don't like to hang with. It's black girls that don't do their hair. That's okay. the only way that these All white right. people speak to them. That's the only way they deal with them okay. when they don't do their hair. I'm running for governor. I'm Skaboki. Marcus going to be great, great grandson. I'm not putting up with this. These black girls going to do their hair under governor Skaboki. So you look tired, girl. Black light skin like that. Damn. What? What you said? What you said? You designed this outfit. You did all this outfit you got. You put this all together. Amazing. Thank you. What's your name? Kenya. Kenya. I'm Skabuki. Marcus Garvey Grandson. What about this? You designed it? Now the thing that makes Kabuki so interesting in that's kind of a negative way is because he's so confident in what his message is and what you know he believes in. For example, when he approaches a woman who is clearly in distress because Skabuki was following her, he claims that it's because she's a Democrat voter or she's got Democratic ideologies. I don't feel safe right now. I went all the way on the other side. Democrats. He followed me and started recording me. Democrats. I pushed the camera out my face and that's when he started hitting me. You crazy. And he hit multiple times. Yeah, okay. Like, 
Democrat voter. Yeah, hold on, man. She's a Democrat voter. I don't really care what you believe in. It doesn't take, you know, really any kind of ideology to deserve being followed and harassed in the streets, let alone punched right in the face. Now, a lot of people were saying that it was specifically white people that he seemed to be targeting. I don't know if necessarily that's the truth. Maybe it's just the white people that he punched because seeing all the TikToks and stuff resurfacing, it seems like he's harassing women of all colors and nationalities. It's close to what? About what? I'm saying, I'm Skabuki, Marcus Garvey grandson. Now I'm trying to see how you handle these, these illegal aliens. Hold up, hold on, man. I'm trying to see how y'all working with these illegal aliens. Are you done? Now I'm planning on running for mayor against Eric Adams. I'm kidding, you're reporting, you can do that, but don't get too close to me. It's my safety, all right? Who, don't get too close what happened? You don't like black guys next to you? I don't want anyone close to me, that's no, it. No, that's right. That's it. I don't think too much girls should be officers, man. Have a good day, sir. But good luck. Thank you. Go to your room. Good luck with having a girl as your partner. Good luck with that. Nice mustache. I'm Y'all yeah. white, y'all gonna violate us, man. I'm running for governor, man. Y'all bug the fuck out. Y'all know nothing about me, man. Yeah, pop off. Don't roll up on me, man. Back the fuck up off me. Don't roll up on me. Yeah, don't roll up on me. I'll pay my fee. Don't roll up on me, white woman. Don't roll up on me. Are you finished? Man, listen, man. Don't roll up on me, man. Don't roll up on me. 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 I pay my fee. I ain't gonna know I pay my fee. So he's gonna calm down? Kind of scary here, but there are some people that say that Skabuki had done all of these attacks, and there was like a good handful of reports within the same time frame in New York City. More women are coming forward who say they're victims of random attacks while walking in the city. Four women spoke with Inside Edition and say they were assaulted recently by strangers. Some were punched in the head or slapped in the face. One of the attacks was caught on camera. The victim, who is a model, says the assault happened in broad daylight. I could sense on my right side that someone was quickly approaching from the other side of the street and I had literally one second to look and then I got punched in the side of my head right here. Many of the victims are now posting videos on social media, sending warnings to other women. Their advice, take your headphones off, put down your phone and be on extra alert of your surroundings. Most women were coming out saying that it matched the description of Skabuki, but there aren't tieable evidence to Skabuki to all the attacks, so hopefully this guy isn't starting some weird kind of incel movement or something strange like that. My personal opinion, I think that he committed the attacks and he just kind of got lucky with the lack of evidence or maybe the women didn't see exactly who it was that attacked them. Now, going back to Skabuki himself, like I said, Skabuki has tried to run for governor, mayor, and city council, and as you could probably expect, has failed all of them. And this isn't just like he's done all this in recent time. Like I said in the beginning, this goes back a couple of years that he's been doing these things. And there are videos from 2022 and, and forward that, you know, show him walking up to people saying that he's running for governor. And when people are confused, he starts hurling insults at them. Now, another funny tidbit that I found is this guy's kind of just like a Swiss army knife of weird. He also has a rap career where he goes by um, designer attitude. And I can't play you too terribly much because it's probably copyrighted by something like this kid but uh here's just a little little taste and i ain't average rich but so he's super rich i live on you on everybody but uh -huh, uh -huh. i got so much money i don't know what to do now, I did find this in his music video. Uh, he did run for governor in November of 2021, and it looks like it's the Out Lawbreaker Party. I tried to do some research on what that is, but the best that I could find is that it's some sort of like freedom party. One interesting thing that I found that really bothers me, at least as of right now in recording, Skabuki's original TikTok page wasn't banned, even though it did show him, while not assaulting someone directly, it did show him very much so harassing a lot of different women.
opinion. And while I'm no advocate for taking away someone's free speech to, you know, say what they would on the internet, harassing someone is a whole different level of having to bring someone into your bit or your joke or your TikTok or whatever it is. So the interesting thing is he privated his account in all this time. In the three years that looks like it's been running, it still hasn't been deleted. Now, this is subject to change, obviously. Just as of looking now, it hasn't been deleted. I really hope this guy just takes it as a sign and, and understands that he is not for the rap game he is not for the governor or mayor game and he's definitely not you know he should be around women so i hope that he kind of just backs off and um hobbles somewhere else because i don't think anybody really needs him around